demands there, but, you market, know, the update. supply and starts have slowed down based on our numbers we're seeing from first quarter. So we still have very tight supply. There's no doubt about that. I mean, tight inventory. So if you're trying to buy a home, um, it's still tough, Aaron, right? What are you predicting here going forward? So affordability is at an all-time low. It's even far lower than it was back in 2008. And what I've seen over the last month, which is a nice sigh of relief, is that there's been a coming to Jesus moment with sellers. They're no longer looking for those 2021 mid-COVID highs that they saw. Now they're getting a bit more realistic in terms of, you know, what they can get for their property in today's dollars and the timeline that it takes to sell a property. So it's no longer, you know, one week to 30 days. We're looking at 30 to 60 to 90 days, which is a balanced market. And, you know, if we teeter over that 90 day average, that's when I, you know, really feel like it's a buyer's market and you go in full throttle and you negotiate and you get the best deal out there because there is room for negotiation now and opportunistic buyers, people that tend to be contrarian tend to be the winners. Right, right. Um, you know, Benjamin, you were saying that you are seeing demand for storage and um, that tells you something when, you, you know, I'm, I'm interested in your interpretation here because there are headlines that say um, that the housing market could tumble into a deep freeze while at the same time that the housing demand could return. Um, so it's sort of like, which one is it? Meantime, when I look at the Home Builders Index, that's about buck off the 52-week high. So we know that the housing stocks are doing great. Um, where do we stand, Benjamin? Or is it a winning year, a lot of movement, or not necessarily? I think, unfortunately, there's um, a uh, uncontrollable uh, outside effect here called the Fed. Um, and yeah. they can really put some brakes on our economy here as we sit here and look at, you know, the ability for people to adjust. And I, and I think Aaron's pretty spot on with, you know, the, the market's not 100% a buyer's market, but it's definitely starting to move that direction. Um, in our business, you know, we're not only, you know, investing out of our fund nine right now, which is, you know, nearly a billion dollar fund, but we're, we're looking at, storage opportunities which are hard to get into at pricing that we like um, but we're seeing people come to us uh, for for loans for higher leverage loans and pref equity so you know what does that tell you is that you know there's there's needs for it the business side the storage there's demand um, but but the sellers in, in many cases are coming off of this euphoric you know last two years 